Hello guys, welcome back to my channel BFI Expert. So guys, we are going to see screen replacement composting inside new. So this is a multi-part video. So in first video, we will see how we can remove all the tracking marker from this sort. Then in next part, we will see how we can remove this green screens. Then finally, we will see how we can place our screen inside new. So we will see complete screen replacement inside new. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside new here and I have imported about this footage inside new. So now just play and check. So this is our sort here. So in this video, we will remove all the tracking marker from our this sort. And some tracking markers are also interacting with our this characters. So now just I am going to see how we can remove all these tracking markers using clean plate here. So first we have to create our clean plate. So for this just we have to take a roto paint node. So now just P, P for roto paint node. And just we have to select our frame where we have to create our clean plate. So maybe a frame 40 if you will see actually just I am getting all these uh, three markers here and maybe little one this one here. So if you want you can just create separate clean plate for this tracking markers. And for these three markers, just you can create another clean plate. So why actually this is totally depends on your sort. So now first just I am going to create a, a clean plate for these uh, three markers here. And then after this just we will create another clean plate for this markers here. So at frame 40, just I am going to create a clean plate for these three markers here. So here just I have taken this root open node. Now just we have to take a frame hold node. So again press tab and you take a frame hold node and same frame number just we have to type it here on which you want to create your clean plate so frame 40 so now just i'm going to create a clean plate so again double click on the photo paint node then you can take this uh, clone tool and you simply just you can uh, clone it here so hold shift so you can adjust this brush size here and hold control button simply just you can pick this sample area and just simply just you can paint it here and this is your actually paint opacity and this is brush size and this is hardness so make this hardness zero and this opacity value just you can adjust according to a requirement like 1 or 0.5 or 0.3 simply just we can clone this one then we can adjust this opacity value and just simply just we can remove all these patch here so properly just we have to create a clean plate then after this same edge I am going to remove this one here So now here just I have removed all these three markers here. Then after this just uh, we have to take a roto node and just we have to create a patch for all these three markers here. So simply just we have to take a roto node, press O and just create patch for all these three markers here. So again simply just we can take this clip, this shape, then press, then now press E, E for edge feather. Then for second one, so now after this just we have to take a merge node, now press M, then this will be our background and this roto will be our foreground here. So this B input just we have to connect with this frame hold, then in this merge node, operation just we have to use this mask, then after this we have to take a merge node. At B input just we have to connect with our plate and A input just we have to connect with our this, this merge node. Now just select this one and press 1. Now just we are getting this result here. So now, so now here if you will see, so just I have removed all these tracking markers from our this frame here. So now if you will play your sort, so you will see actually these uh, patch actually not uh, following according to our this plate movements here. So this marker is visible here. So for this what we have to do, so just we have to track our this sort and just we will 
move this patch according to our this footage movements here so again now just i'm going to drag this sort so again press tab and just take a tracker node and just connect with this footage now select this one press one so first just i'm going to drag this points here now just click on this option which is a track and just simply just we can click here and just create a track point now just drag this point so simply just click on this power track so now just I am going to track about this second points here. So again just click here and simply just we can create about this second track point. Now oh, again okay. track forward. So now here just I have tracked about this second points here. After this in this uh, tracker just we have to check about this translate and scale for both trackers here. And we have to select about this tracker. Now control C copy. And just go to frame 40 where just we have created a printed and just connect after this merge node here. So control V and just connect it here. So now if you will select this one here, now press 1. Then after this, double click on this tracker node. Then these two actually translate and this is scale. Just I have checked here if there is any rotation, then you can also check these rotations value here now just go to this transform in transform just we have to select this match loop and this set to current frame also just we have to check so now if you will actually move this player so this patch is just moving or following uh, this footage movements here okay so now you can see so in all frame just type remove all these tracking markers here so just simply you can see then after this for all these things just we will create a reveal roto and just we will reveal all these areas here so now same way just we can do for this tracker here so again just we have to check so maybe where this is which will properly so maybe frame uh, 58 this is which will properly then again just you can take another roto paint node so now press p p for roto paint node now just connect it here then take a frame hold node and just connect after this this one now that define your frame which is 58 then double click on this paint mode and simply just we have to clone this one here so now again just select this one original plate now just create a roto so again just take a roto node Press O. Let's create roto for this one here. Now press E, E for edge feather. Now again, just take another merge node. So press M. So this will be our background, and this can we just have to connect with our this roto. Now just select this one. Press one, then double click here. The, then in operation, just we have to select this as a mask. Then again, we have to take a merge node. Now press M, so this will be our background, this one here and this thing just we have to connect as a foreground. So again just move it here down, so easily just we can understand. So now we take uh, this merge node and just K input just we have to connect with this one and this is our output here. So now just if you will see here, so again just select this input or global here. So now just you can see this one also just I have removed. So one more important thing here. So before starting any work inside new, first we have to set your project setting. So according to your sort, we have to set our project settings. Now press S. So you will see here. So here I have already defined. So before starting any work inside new, in inside Nuke, after importing your footage, just you have to define your project settings here. So according to your footage size or frame size. So now you can see. Okay, so these are again important things here. So now here, if you will see, so this one also just I have removed. But again, this is actually not following properly here. So just you will see this one here. So again, we have to use our tracking data here. So again, go to frame 58 where you have created your clean plate. Now just copy this tracker, control C, copy. Then connect after this merge node here, control V and just connect it here, then double click, now these values are checked, go to transform, again select the match move, set to current frame here. So now if you will see, 
So this patch is also just following according to our this product. So simply just add remove all the tracking marker from our this or frames here. Then after this, what we have to do? So because if you will see this uh, a patch here, this one here, and this one here. So what I am going to do? So just we have to first check. So again, just select this one. Now press one. So if you will see it. So this marker. So maybe. So before frame this maybe frame. 23 so this marker is not visible so what i am going to do so just we can also animate our roto opacity so maybe before frame 23 so for this what we can do so again just select this shape which is this one or just we can animate our this opacity then right click set key value 1 then go to this previous frame and just make it 0 same as just we can also check after this frame so maybe till frame 55 then after this i think again this marker is not visible so maybe frame 45 just set key here then in next frame just we have to again make it zero so now just simply you can see this one here so what we will get so till here just i am getting only this patch this one here so now you can see this one and after this there is any no patch so same as for this one if you want you can just also animate opacity so now again just view over this final result here and just clear this one here so now just i am getting this result here so just till here just i am getting this result here so just i have removed all the tracking markers here now finally just I am going to create our reveal roto for all these patches here so for this one for this one and for this one also so again just I am going to show you how just we can create our reveal roto and just how we can use so again just we have to check our this original sort so again select this one press 1 so just we can check so for this area just we have to create a reveal roto so now just I am going to create a roto for this one here so simply take a roto node and just create a shape so this is actually just again only for explanation so properly just we will create our roto then we have to animate according to our this character movements here so maybe like this one and properly just we have to animate So now here how we can use our this reveal roto here and just we can reveal this area so for this what we have to do so simply just we have to take a merge node now press m and this b input just we have to connect with our original plate and this a input just we have to connect with our this roto now select this merge node press 1 then double click on this merge node then go to this operations and just we can select again this mask here so now just you can see here then after this simply just we have to take a merge node press m then connect b input with our this one here which will where just we are getting our this patch and this one because this will actually reveal roto for this area then this output just we have to connect with our this a input here so now just move it here so usually just we can see now just select this one press 1 so now you can see so here just i have reveal this area here and just simply just i have removed uh, this tracking markers from this sort here so remember this one so little bit this roto is visible here because properly just i have animated roto inside new so just i am going to use it here so again this is just only for explanations here so now you can see simply so just i have revealed this area here so like this just we have to reveal all these area and this one also here so again just i am going to use uh, a different different reveal roto here then after this if you want you can just simply use blur node and a little bit just you can edge blur or you can double click and just according to your requirement hold control and just simply you can use blur like this okay so this is actually totally uh, depends on your requirements here so now you can see here then now suppose if you will see actually uh, whatever feather just i have given so this is actually animated here so you can see so this will just create a problem so for this what we can do so again just we have to check uh, this water flow key which just you can give this uh, edge feather so this will actually uh, 
uh, apply on all frames here okay so this again only for explanations here for the simply just we can move it here so now here if you will see now if you will move so this feather is just maintained here and this will apply on all frames so, so now you can see here okay so this is again a important option here now you disable this one here so properly just we have to animate all these gable roto for these three patches here so here i have just already uh, created roto for these one so now just i am going to connect so again these are actually roto here so all these three roto here even just you can also just create all these roto from silver effect so now just connect it here so again now press these and just give a little bit feather maybe one or two pixels so again according to requirement so this one actually this for face and these two so this one for the shoulder and this one for this phone and this shoulder also okay so now again just uh, use this face one same age so again just take a merge node now press m now just select this one press one here so now here if you will see so this is actually this basic flow here and just we have to check our sort now just clear all these things here then finally if you will move your player so just we are also getting this bonding box here so finally what we have to do so just we have to take a reformat mode now press tab and you take a reformat mode here. so now just we are getting this reject here now just we have to play and just check our flow here now just check our output here so just we have to play and just check so now here if you will see so just i have removed all these tracking markers from our this sort here so now just you can see so properly just we have to create a clean player then after this just we have to properly also animate our this rebuild roto here so for roto if you want you can also use sell out effects finally this is our result here after removing all these tracking markers from this sort here so just you can see so guys till here just i have completed about this class in next class we will continue on same video and we will do key inside new and just we will remove this screen from this song so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching